Hello everyone. I've got a new 4S battery for my Omni Terminator. So this one is the Bonka RC 2200mAh 35C rated 4S LiPo battery. And I also have a new motor which can support a 4S battery. So I'll be installing this on the truck. The stock battery is a 3S 2200mAh LiPo battery and the 4S that I've got is almost identical in terms of size. So this battery fits perfectly in the battery tray. As you can see. So I did check the dimensions before buying the new battery. Now as you can see that I do have a 4S ESC and a 4S battery for this. But the stock ESC on the Omni Terminator, not sure if it's 4S rated but you can definitely run it with the 4S battery but it does heat up especially when you flip the truck or perform jumps. And that's the reason why I've decided to install a motor that's 4S capable. So to install the motor first, I'll disconnect the stock motor. Remove the heatsink and the cooling fan. Now in order to remove the motor, we need to remove these two screws on the motor mount with the 2.5mm hex screwdriver. And these screws have a washer to prevent from over tightening the screw. And we also need to remove the pinion cover. So remove this single screw over here. And you can remove the pinion cover. Now to slide the motor out, we need to remove this side plastic guard. So flip the truck and remove these four screws. And the side guard will just fall off. And now you can easily slide the motor. Just use a wrench and gently pry it in between the motor and the chassis brace. And the motor should slide out. I really like how smooth the driveline is of this truck. Now here we have the stock motor from Ralalo. The new motor that I have is the exact size as the stock motor. It's just that it's rated at 2300 kV and here on the specification sheet the maximum voltage this motor can accept is 22 volts. So you can definitely use a 4S battery because the maximum voltage of a 4S is at 16.8 volts. Now, this new motor is almost identical to the stock motor. So the overall design and the outer shell is almost identical as you can see. So not sure if Ralalo is using this exact same motor and I've rebranded it. But the very reason that I want to change the motor is that I've observed that the stock motor does heat and, and the ESC did enter overheat protection once 
and the wires and the connector of the motor were also quite hot and that's when I decided that I will upgrade the motor and that's why I've bought this so we will have to remove the motor mount from the stock motor and since it is secured with thread lock I'll have to heat it with a heat gun And to remove the pinion gear, you have to be extremely cautious because the grub screw is very fragile from factory and I've actually stripped it. So to remove the pinion gear from the motor, I'm using this flathead screwdriver and I'm gently tapping it by placing it in between the pinion and the motor mount. And I do have this tool set with some extra bits and I've managed to remove the grub screw so here I'm inspecting the pinion for any damage and it looks quite all right so I can use it now to remove the motor mount we need to use the 2.5 millimeter hex wrench and you do need to heat these screws as well because they are also secured with Loctite. So once the motor mount is separated We can install it on the new motor but before I do that I'll I'll try to remove the old thread lock residue and clean the pinion gear as well. Now before you install the motor mount just make sure the orientation of the motor mount is correct. So the motor mount slides in like this. So this side is facing towards the rear of the truck so this will go on the motor like this and I'll use blue thread lock to secure the motor mount on the motor And give it a good snug so, so that these screws don't get loose and don't have to remove it all over again. Now to install the pinion gear, we need to align the motor shaft and the grub screw. Again I'm using blue thread lock over here and I'm using a fresh grub screw which is M3 by 4 and I've gently tightened this as well but luckily I haven't stripped it this time. So once the pinion is installed on the new motor you can simply slide it on the motor mount. Now obviously we do have to set the gear mesh before we secure the motor again using blue thread lock to secure the motor on the motor mount itself do not over tighten the screws all the way
place a piece of paper in between the gears and and push the motor towards the center differential and tighten the screws and torque these as well so that they're nice and secure and check and feel how the gear mesh is set here it looks to be perfect and the truck is quite smooth and it's rolling quite freely so the gear mesh is set perfectly next install the pinion cover and lastly reinstall the side card remember there are four screws for this and these are 1.5 millimeter hex screws so you need to be a bit careful with these And the last step is to install the heat sink and cooling fan on the motor. So because the motor is the exact size as the stock one, we can use this heat sink. And connect the motor wires to the ESC. I usually have the middle wire connected to each other. So now I'll install the forest battery and fire up the ESC. I might have to swap the motor wires if the motor direction is reversed. And indeed it is. So I'll just swap the outermost motor wires. And there you have it. So guys, uh, that's how you can replace or upgrade your motor on the on the Terminator. So I hope you found this video helpful and informative. And do give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel if you are new. And that's all I have to share in this video. Now check out the next video where I've posted some, some sample shots on this new forest motor and the forest battery. So stay tuned for this video. And do subscribe if you haven't because as you'll see this truck is totally alive on for us and it's fun to drive. So I'll see you guys very soon and goodbye.